Good morning and welcome to the uh, Shaman Energy card reading for the week starting March the 11th, 2024. Let's clear the, the spiritual energy for the reading. We're going to use the Shaman's uh, Dream Oracle deck as, as uh, we did last week and we're going to draw two cards and please remember that uh, you have your own um, self-will and you take from the re this reading what is uh, of in intuitively of interest to you um, but uh, take care of yourself, take care of the, your intuition, listen to it and uh, this is a general reading for the energy of the week, not a specific person. And the reading is for entertainment purposes only. So let's draw the first card, and we have Overflow. Overwhelm, overwhelm and Plenty. Abundance. Pure and simple, abundance. Um, in some way, in, your, in uh, the energy of this week, uh, you're going to be seeing uh, an abundance of of uh, something. Uh, you know, everybody is interested in health, wealth, and happiness. Health is obvious. Uh, wealth is wealth can be material, it can be spiritual, it can be emotional, um, and happiness. Well, uh, generally, you would be happy if you um, um, had uh, all of all of your wealth issues are resolved, um, but it can also mean uh, friendship. It can mean uh, mean happiness with a pet, uh, an animal. It can be your surroundings. It can be a soulmate. It can be a relationship. There's, there's no specific comment here. It just says over, overwhelm and plenty. And what I'm seeing for a lot of people is um, a little bit of each of these three things: health, wealth, and happiness. And what I'm getting is that collectively, though, a little bit of something in each one of those three uh, categories adds up to a, a, a sense of, of overflow and being overwhelmed and full of plenty. So now we'll take the bottom card. And we have jeweled web connectivity. My first impression of, of this card is that all life is is part of a uh, jeweled web of connectivity. Um, we don't necessarily see that, um, you know, when um, fruit is is um, fruit is picked, we don't see the the process of um, pollination or the uh, the bees being born that will fly amongst the flowers pollinating them, which then become fruit we eat. Um, we don't see um, the connectivity between us and our pets and the animals in our, in our gardens that may be scampering away when they see a human coming. Um, you're reminded uh, with this card that uh, you, may be, you may be seeing an overflow of uh, plenty, but that uh, you are connected to everything that brought that um, wealth to you, and um, you need to you need to slow down for a moment, sit down, close your eyes, take a deep breath, maybe maybe a few deep breaths, and uh, listen to um, the connectivity and the part that you play in the bigger whole. The bigger whole is everything that brought you the wealth and plenty in the card 43. So we'll take more into that in the show notes. Take care. Have a good day. Good week.
overflow, overwhelm, and plenty. There is no doubt to this. A lot of abundance and good things are coming to you. Perhaps too many for you to believe in. Have no doubt, overflowing abundance is coming and it will be there soon. What you do not want to do is place constraints and restrictions on it. This is the problem with many vision boards. You want a new car, you have hopes and desires on what will manifest, but you place restrictions on it by the make, model and colour. Accept what comes and do not try to change it. When you receive a gift from the universe, there may be a feeling of disappointment rather than happiness. You need to release expectations so that you may truly appreciate and be grateful for what is in front of you. Focus on your personal universe, where and what you can manage yourself and believe in you. Let spirit take care of the bigger picture and the gifts appropriate to you for what you are doing now.